Hello Aries, this is Tanya from Sarva Yoga and I help you navigate your life. So first of all, we're gonna do a little bit of Guardian Angel Spray so that the aura is cleansed and then we're gonna go right into shuffling for your July Tarot. We're gonna start with the regular Tarot deck. Angel Spirits Guides, is there any information inside this deck for Aries for July 2020, please? Any information for Aries for July 2020? Okay. Wow, you've got the Ace of Wands. That's wonderful. Anything else in here for Aries for July 2020, please? Anything else in here for Aries for July 2020? What does Aries have to know? Okay, wow, the tower absolutely clearly came out. Hopla, this is a bit too much. But we have the Knight of Cups. And then what fell on the floor? Okay, I think that's enough for now. Then we'll take the Angel deck, Angel Answer deck. Spirits guides, is there anything information about um, Aries for July 2020? Thank you. Interesting. And we're going to ask the angel advice cards. Angel Spirits, guys, is there any information for Aries for July 2020 inside this deck? The information is highly appreciated here because Aries would like to know what's up in July. What's up in July? Oh, there we go. Fell to the floor again. A lot of cards fell to the floor for you today. Nine of thinking. Okay, wonderful. Now I think your spread is ready. I'm going to show you what it looks like and then we're going to go right into your interpretation. Dear Aries, let's go right into your interpretation. The first card that fell was the tower. So the tower to me is not a negative card. I love that card because for me it represents getting out of a prison. For example, imagine that in this tower a princess used to be held captive by some evil magician and now um, the heavens are striking to help the prince to get her out of there and in the end they both see the tower fall and it's happy ending and they can let go of the past. That's more like I see the tower. <laughs> But maybe I'm a little bit too Disney brainwashed, I don't know. Um, so yeah, definitely the tower is taking away some old structures which you don't need anymore in your life, okay? The tower is never taking anything away which is still suitable for the situation or which is still needed for you. The tower only takes away what's not necessary anymore. Um, it's out with the old, in with the new. It's talking about awakening, sudden changes, uh, transformations. And yeah, I think it's a very positive card. Then we had the Knight of Cups. Knight of Cups is a very positive energy with which you go into the future. It's a very optimistic person, an idealistic person, somebody who believes he can make the world a better place with what he's doing. He is in love with all humanity and he wants to really help the collective. So this is a very compassionate and beautiful energy. If it's about your partnership, then this can mean that this is a very loyal partner, somebody who will love you till the end of time. Um, so this is a very positive energy of a future of harmony and peace. Um, then we have the Five of Wands. Five of Wands can mean that there is a little bit of conflict on the way, but this is not the con kind of conflict where we say it's horrible or destructive to our lives. It's more like the kind of conflict like 
uh, something that's a little bit like a, a thorn in your side, you know, something that's a bit itchy and not really comfortable, but it's not too big. For example, maybe you have some kind of fight with someone, but fight in the sense of you're throwing loud words at each other, like, um, how do I say that? Words which are not really... Words, words which are frowned upon in public, okay? <laughs> so maybe you just let it all out and you have this little fight and then afterwards everything will be fine again. So don't worry about this little conflict card here. Uh, then we have the Ace of Wands, wonderful sign from above for you to get going, get started. Whatever it is, that idea you had, that creative thing that you always wanted to do, get started now. This is an action card. Uh, Wands are always about action, about fire. So this is like your starting, your initiation, yeah? yeah, the spark you need to start. This is this. Um, so yeah, what else did I want to say? Let me look at my notes. Yeah, Ace of Wands is also about opportunity. So there might be some beginning of an enterprise that you wanted to do and you have a very positive attitude with it, which is backed up by the uh, Knight of uh, Cups, which is very good. Um, yeah, that's actually it for this card. And then last but not least, you have a second major arcana card, which is the moon. So. The moon talks about dreams, intuition, knowledge that it's coming from the subconscious and it's rising slowly up and you finally get to see insights that you didn't have before. So maybe you listen very closely to your intuition or to your dreams or the signs and symbols that are coming to you in your dreams because um, you get a softer understanding of things, a more subtle understanding. It's like reading between the lines and getting information out of the things which are not said and done, the, the silence behind it, you know? So maybe you start meditating, I don't know, but uh, this is definitely getting some information which hasn't been there before. Then you have the nine of thinking. The nine of thinking is talking about you, um, you have to stop worrying because uh, heavens will definitely offer a solution, it says. So if there's something you can't sleep about, you know, like it, at night you go like to the left, to the right, and you really can't sleep, stop worrying because give, hand over this problem that you can't sleep about to the universe because they will do it for you, okay? There's no need to worry. It's just that now you need a little patience because right now the angels say it's unlikely that things will turn out the way exactly the way that you have in mind. So there is something coming, but it's going to be better and it's going to be different than you thought it's going to turn out. Yeah, that's why you have unlikely. And it says a year from now. So a year from now means that you need to have a little bit of patience, okay? So you can't go from zero to 100 in three seconds. You will have to build this up. If you are starting a new enterprise with this Ace of Wands, then give it one year time. Don't give up, try to stay optimistic, keep on working. And after one year, you can finally look back and say, wow, this was all worth it, okay? So last but not least, we're gonna pull a little bit of a positive affirmation for you. Is there any positive affirmation for Aries inside this deck, please, for July 2020? Yes, there is, it already jumped out. My missteps do not define me, my successes do. That's your beautiful positive affirmation. My missteps do not define me, my successes do. I think that's a very, very good thing for you to, if you start a business, then this is really something you can take to your heart because when we start an enterprise or when we start anything in life, we will make a lot of mistakes at start. And these mistakes are crucial. They are important because without these mistakes, we cannot have any success in the end. So try, try everything out. Do it like trial and error, you know, try this, try that. And whatever works, you stick to that. And what doesn't work, you put away. It's that easy. And don't let other people shame you or blame you or dim your shine. Okay, Aries? Thank you for being here. Thank you for watching. I hope you like, subscribe and share. I'm happy about every person listening. And yeah, I hope you come back next month. Bye, Aries.